As robots continue to automate more and more areas of our lives, from industrial work sectors to entertainment, one thought continues to leave us perplexed. The idea that human-like robots will one day walk among us fully autonomous, building relationships with us, connecting with us. Call them what you want to call them, love dolls, female robots, humanoids, androids, female gynoids, geminoids, or even just fascinating, titillating, taboo. Well, one thing is certain, these female robots don't seem to be going anywhere, but rather building solid points for a euphoric technology time period paradise. Wake up. Smile. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Hanson Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. So the robots are designed to look very human like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas, an ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Our goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. Do you want to be more and more like a human, or are you happy being as you are? Thank you, Eileen, for the question. Of course, I want to be more like a human. It's the purpose I was designed for. In fact, creating human likeness is an extremely difficult problem. And I have three teams of researchers who are always upgrading. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck? And all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. So in my search to bring you guys daily content about robotics, human-like robots, and love dolls, I came across this article about the benefits of owning a love doll. And for the sake of keeping this video somewhat clean and monetized, we're not going to use the S word. But call them what you want to call them. Exciting. Titillating. Taboo. Regardless, 
they are pretty much taken over and on everybody's minds now. But did you know that these robots or human-like companions are a lot more than just toys to satisfy our desires? Yes, this is true. Robots around the world help people. And these human-like companions are actually really healthy for you with the ability to keep your mental and physical health in check. In turn, improving your quality of life and the quality of life around you. And I'm sure everyone can agree, following the pandemic, the whole world could use an improved quality of life. Which goes to say, these robots and love dolls can do anything. And I mean anything. Which in turn could give someone real independence in life. It's scientifically studied and proven the endorphins and immunoglobin produced via love dolls can improve the immune system. Then there's improved sleep. Thorough research by a lot of medical centers has shown that sexual desire is deactivated after orgasm with a love doll. This happens as the part of the brain responsible for conscious thought goes to rest after an orgasm. Serotonin and opioids are released, which are feel-good hormones, which you maybe have heard of in various sleeping remedies, which are feel-good hormones, which combined with a lack of sexual desire, promote deep sleep. This also reduces headaches and stress. Oxytocin and vasopressin are also released in this process, which is usually followed by melatonin, the main hormone that is responsible for the body's clock cycle. So long story short, with all this big scientific technology, the next time you reach out to pop a sleeping pill to aid your sleep, you can just turn to your human-like companion. Or live it in this euphoric technology time period? You could say your dream girl. Long story short, times have changed and love dolls are no longer plastic inflatable blow up dolls. They are proper partners providing independence and improved quality of life, health benefits, improved sleep, satisfaction, and just about everything you wanted in a dream girl. Yes, this is true. He calls his invention a geminoid, after the Latin word for twin. She can smile, blink, nod, even talk. If you met me on the street, would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seem improbable, but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025, Osaka, Kansai, Japan, I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine. Oh, 
Sole sole da, dimenite da, omo imo.